Weight If you are like 69% of Americans who are overweight, it's a word you've probably come to hate. You've tried eating grapefruit and cabbage soup, and you're tired of walking that endless loop. It's likely you've dropped a few pounds here and there, but it all comes back. It makes you swear. It's just a matter of exercise and diet, your friends will tell you, but please don't buy it. You see, our ancestors' food wasn't a car trip away. They chased and they hunted. They stalked their prey. If the food was too fast or migrated north, our disease depleted it till next July 4th. They needed a way to keep what they had. Starvation mode was born and it made them glad. But today when you diet, your body's afraid a famine's about or the harvest delayed. So instead of burning up all your fat, you use muscle for fuel and keep all of that. Is that it? Are we done? Could there be more? Unfortunately, yes. There's more in store. Your body is regulated by many a hormone. Happy ones, sad ones, they make you laugh, make you moan. One in particular gets your stomach a growling. He makes you feel hungry. His name is ghrelin. When your stomach is empty, he makes a fuss, tells your brain it needs fuel. Eat now, you must. In short, a diet's a war versus nature, a battling body that thinks it's in danger. What can you do? Is there any way out? Why, yes, there is. That's what Dr. Tom's all about. The trick is in getting your body to know that food's not scarce, the supply isn't low. It's a matter of changing the shape of your tummy, from that of a basketball to something more yummy. Shaped like a banana, it fills up much faster, gives ghrelin a rest, making you the master. You eat less food without panicking your body, and watching pounds melt off becomes more of a hobby. Goodbye weight, diabetes and more, sleep apnea, joint pain, nope, you win the war. If you are ready to get over that weight loss wall, it's time to give Blossom Bariatrics a call.